Hey tires, Darren here with Piscator Flies. I'm going to show you how to tie a quick and easy leash for an intruder fly. Basically all you need is a little four inch length of wire and one of the popular fly tying shanks such as the Senyo intruder shanks or a Waddington shank. You'll need some thread. I prefer to use something like a 210 denier thread just to give me a good base for the glue to soak up. All right, let's get started. We'll just start by putting on our tying thread and we're going to start right where the wires overlap. We're just going to close the gap. We'll wrap back to where the wire starts to separate and go up into the back loop. So there's two ways, a couple ways we can do this. First way, I'm just going to tie a leash onto the back without a hook. If you want to, you can put the hook on prior and then uh, attach the hook and the leash at the same time. The only problem with that is uh, with the hook here, it gets pretty dangerous. Uh, so what I like to do is if I do put a hook on, I'll bring this uh, material keeper and just kind of keep the hook pushed down so that I don't ac accidentally like pull my thumb into it because a lot of the time it's pointed up. So what I do is I'm just going to secure it on both sides of the wire. You can see I've got it on the top and the bottom here. And if it's not quite the right length, it's not tightened, so I can pull it a little bit closer. Um, and if I need to pull it back a little bit, I usually just use my scissors and pull it back gently. So you want to make sure that that wire is level before you tie it in firmly. You just want to make sure that you have enough room to put a hook in there after it's tightened and secured. So we're going to wrap forward, and when uh, after you get off the overlapping wire, I like to make sure that both sides of that leash wire end up on the bottom. And so I'm just going to wrap it forward a little bit, and then I'm going to turn it upside down. And you can take the tag ends of the leash wire, I'm just going to fold them back. And I want to kind of match it up with this bump where we had the shank wire overlapping. I just want to even up the body in that regard. Usually if you can get these both together, it makes life a little bit easier. So you just want to push your thumb into that. Kind of don't have to kink it, but just to bend it over. Then we're just going to do a couple wraps back to secure that and then just at front I'm just going to add a little whip finish here now you may notice that I'm using a fluorescent green thread here and the reason I've used a fluorescent green is simply because it was on sale so I bought a bunch of it and because it's not going to be seen on the finished fly it doesn't really matter what color it is so I'm just gonna finish this off with a little bit of uh, head cement and I'll let that dry the important part is to make sure that we fold back those tag ends that really secures that. Once this is dry, it's going to be almost indestructible. Mm -hmm. 